In this Abacus training video, I'll be showing you how to open a pause register. You'll need to do this in the morning when you start the day. First, I'll log into the user account. Now I'll enter the money that I've put into the register to start the day. This is also called your float amount. For my example, I'll start with $200 in the cash register. It doesn't matter how this $200 is made up, you just have to enter in the total amount that you've put into the register to start the day. Now I'll tap open. Now that the register has been opened, I can put through a transaction. I'll just do one here as an example. So you can see there that I just quickly put through a transaction. Now I'm going to close the register. First I'll log into the account again. Now I'll go to the drop down menu, navigate to pause register and you'll see that the screen is different this time. This is the screen that you'll go to when you want to close the register at the end of the day and you're no longer going to be taking any more sales. We're going to go from top to bottom and count everything in the register. First, I'll start with the $100 notes. There's two of them in my register, so I'll submit those. That totals $200. Next, I'll count the $10 notes. There's one of those. I'll submit that as well. Finally, I'll count the $2 coins. There's one of those. I'll submit that. So I'm finished counting my register, the next step is for me to close it. Now that I've completely finished counting my register, I'm going to go over to finalize. A prompt will appear asking are you sure amount is correct. Once we tap yes, we won't be able to go back and change the amounts that we've put in, so just make sure that when you're closing your own register that you've entered everything correctly and you haven't missed any money. Here I'll tap yes. Up the top here you can see the actual amount that I've counted, $212. Based on the opening amount I started with, which was $200 and the $12 sale that I put through, it was expecting there to be $212 in the register. Here in the middle it shows you the variance. So my register has balanced and the variance is zero dollars. This is what you want to see every time you close your register. You always want the actual amount that you've counted to match the expected amount. Finally, the last step is to close the register. So I'm going to tap close register and it will ask me to confirm this. I'll tap yes. Now you'll be prompted for three reports that you can print. The first one here that's marked in blue is the sales summary. This will show you all of the cash sales, the credit card sales, credit account sales, and other transactions that you've put through that day. The next one is sales item report. This will show you all of the items that you've sold and how much money you've made from those products also. The last report is the sales category report. This will show you the categories of products that you've sold and how much money you've made from all of the different categories. If you want to print all the reports, just tick them so that they're all blue and then tap print. If you don't want to print any other reports, just tap the X icon here. For my example, I'll tap the X icon. Once the register is closed, you'll be logged out of the system. The next time you log in, you'll see that you are taken to the pause register screen again for you to open up another register the next morning. I'll do another example here. I've opened up a register starting with $200. I'll put through another transaction and now I'm going to close the register again. Here I'll show you what happens if you make a mistake when you're counting your register. 
So I started with $200, I've put a $12 transaction through, so we're expecting the total amount that I count here to be 212. But in this example, I'll just count 100. You can see here that the variance is listed in red. The register's down $112. Now I'll go down to close register and tap yes. You'll see that the keyboard pops up and that you are prompted to enter the reason why the register didn't balance. For my example, I'll enter that I forgot to count some of the money. Once you've entered in the reason, just tap submit. Like before, you're prompted to select which reports you'd like to print out. Again, I'll tap the X icon and we're logged out of the system again.